what's going on all my YouTube buddies? It is me, Jacob, with another video. I just got out of my discount dollar theater uh, with my sister Jamie, and tonight we saw Detective Pikachu. And this is an interesting release for me because I never had a special connection with any of the Pokemon property. That's just something I never got into as a kid. Jamie never got into it either. And so going into Pokemon, uh, we were both completely blind on the Pokemon lore. The only character I could tell you that I knew was Pikachu. And then I knew about Jigglypuff because that was a voice Brizzy loved to do. Brizzy voices on her YouTube channel. Great job with that. I walked out pleasantly surprised. I, I liked the trailers uh, when uh, for this film, and I was intrigued just on Ryan Reynolds' involvement alone. And I had a blast watching this film. I think my sister did as well. But I, but I actually did have a blast with Detective Pikachu. And so the plot of Detective Pikachu is this mystery story with Pikachu and a human character played by Justice Smith and there's and it's this fictionalized world where humans and Pokemon coexist and it, it's a neat little visual aesthetic it's a strange mix between I would describe it as a strange mix between Toontown from Who Framed Roger Rabbit and Blade Runner. Never thought I would say that with something like Detective Pikachu. Justice Smith is a solid lead. I thought I was a little nervous that he could potentially derail the film. While I was in the camp that liked Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I was not a fan of Justice Smith's character in Fallen Kingdom. He was like the Jar Jar Binks of that movie. He's really good in this movie. Uh, he really stepped up his game here, and I thought he had some solid chemistry with Ryan Reynolds. Speaking of Ryan Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds shows that he's excellent in a family film as he is in an adult superhero comedy. And he does provide some really genuine laughs in this film as Pikachu. And every time Pikachu's on screen, I think... The movie is ten times more entertaining than the sequences without Ryan Reynolds. Uh, it just shows you uh, how Ryan Reynolds was committed to the screen. What what got me into the film, I think, was the visual style. And there is some fun action set pieces in there, especially when Pikachu is involved. Uh, I did enjoy the more cartoonish nature of the Pokemon. I think that fits with the world that they've set up. And considering that I was not into Pokemon that much as a kid, I, I was able to catch up with the world very quickly. Now, I couldn't tell you all the Pokemon that was on screen and all the Easter eggs. That's for the super fans. But there's a lot of Pokemon in there, and I'm sure all the Pokemon nerds that have already seen this film long before I did had a blast with this film, just counting all the Pokemon in this film. I do have some issues with this film. One is the mystery angle of the film. While it is entertaining, it is also very predictable. I knew who the villain of the film was way early on in the film. It, the movie doesn't really do a good job of hiding who the villain is. They tried doing some misdirections, but they were very far-fetched misdirections. I'm like, yeah, that's not gonna, that's not how the story is gonna go down and. And then when the twist is revealed, I honestly did not care for the villain's motivation at all. It got really dumb fast. And I think it did weaken some of the tension in the third act, even though the action and visuals are extremely fun. I think it does weaken the score quite a bit. Uh, and some of the actors playing the villains play it straight, too. I think... Most of Detective Pikachu is a little, it's on the campy side. 
And these actors, are, some of these actors are playing it straight, which I thought was really weird. Uh, there's also a romance in this film that's not really developed that well. I like both of the actors in the film, but I think it could have been developed a little bit more. And I'm not gonna lie, the final twist is great, but because of how trippy it can get, it does take me out of the film, and it does undercut what could have been a legit heartwarming moment. But Detective Pikachu is a fun movie. Considering I was never into Pokemon as a kid, I had fun with this film. I think it's one of the biggest surprises of the year so far. It's not a movie that blew me away or anything, but it is a fun, entertaining ride with solid characters, Ryan Reynolds giving it his all, and some effective world building. Uh, some have argued that there should be a Pokemon Cinematic Universe. I'd be okay coming back if Ryan Reynolds comes back. That'd be great. I don't want to see like 20 Pokemon films just like there's 20 some MCU films, but uh, I wouldn't mind seeing more Pokemon films, uh, especially since Detective Pikachu was handled so well. Uh, but for me, I'm going to give Detective Pikachu... 4 out of 5 stars, and on the 100 point scale, I'm going to rate it a 71 out of 100. So those were my first thoughts on Detective Pikachu. If you have seen Detective Pikachu, I'm sure you probably have. It took me a while longer because I waited until the Dollar Theater. Let me know down in the comments below, would you find Detective Pikachu? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? Did you grow up with Pokemon, or were you like me and you're new to the Pokemon game watching Detective Pikachu? Whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others, and any respectful comments I will share in comment shoutouts either in my movie or TV reviews. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button to see more content, and the little notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, Besides these first reaction videos, I also do movie reviews, TV reviews, trailer reactions, vlog videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. I hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!